let's write an equation of the line that's parallel to this line through this point. Since we want a line parallel to this line, we need to find the slope of this line. How do we find the slope of this line? There are many ways, but we'll find the slope by solving this equation for y. So to solve this equation for y, I'll begin by subtracting x from both sides. If I subtract x on the left side, I have 2y. If I subtract x on the right side, I'll have negative x plus 3. And then to finish solving for y, I'll divide every single term by 2, the coefficient of y. So y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 3 halves. Remember, when an equation is solved for y, the coefficient of x is its graph's slope. So the slope of this line is negative 1 half. Since I want a line parallel to this one, I simply use the same slope. So we'll use a slope of negative 1 half. Now let's continue. We'll use a slope of negative 1 half. We're given this point, so I'll use the point slope form. And that is y minus the y value of the given point is equal to slope negative 1 half times x minus the x value of the point. This is a line, or this is the line that's parallel to this one through this with this slope. We just now need to write it using function notation. So let's begin by simplifying. I will multiply both sides by 2. So I'll have 2 times y plus 2 is equal to, if I multiply this side by 2, the 2's cancel, and I have negative 1 times x minus 3. This is 2y plus 4 is equal to negative x plus 3. Now again, we want to write it not in standard form, but using function notation. That means we need to solve this equation for y. So I'll subtract 4 from both sides, and I'll have 2y is equal to negative x 3 minus 4, that's negative 1. And I'll finish solving for y by dividing both sides of the equation by 2, which means every term by 2. I'll have y is equal to negative 1 half x minus 1 half. Notice there's that slope showing up of negative 1 half, and that's the slope we want. We want to use function notation, so instead of y, I'll just call it, say, f of x. So f of x is equal to negative 1 half x minus 1 half. It's the same thing I'm simply using function notation. Instead of y, I called it f of x.